In San Francisco, I'm Stacey Delo with Dow Jones Online. Well, diamonds are a girl's best friend, but what about moissanite? You may have never heard of it, but it's a gem that's manufactured in North Carolina and then sent to Asia to be cut. It's, it shines like a diamond. It costs less than a diamond, but it's not cheap. So joining me to talk a bit about this gem is Bob Thomas. He's CEO of Charles & Covard. It's the company behind Moissanite. So, Bob, good to have you here. Tell me a Thank little you, bit Stacey. about yeah. the difference between, let's say, Moissanite and cubic zirconium. What exactly is Moissanite? Well, Moissanite, the difference between Moissanite and all other stones or, or jewels used in jewelry is the, re the optical properties and the durability. The optical properties being the refractive index and the brilliance, the dispersion or the fire and the luster. Moissanite outperforms all other stones, including cubic zirconia, including diamond. And it does so while maintaining its integrity. It's hard. It'll last multi-generations. Okay, and so you've brought a few examples here for us today. This is a, this is a real big one here. <laughs> Almost 14 carats, I think you said. And we'll get a close-up of right. it. But what's the cost per carat? I mean, you sell it like a diamond. We, well, we sell it by the piece. And we cut each piece to maximize the brilliance. Other stones uh, are cut to maximize the carat weight because that's how they're sold. We cut to maximize the beauty of the jewel. Uh, a one carat a moissanite pendant uh, would typically retail between four ninety nine and five ninety nine. A similar size diamond could be four to five thousand U.S. And you market these differently. You market them toward women as opposed to, say, the diamond industry, which really is looking for the male buyer. Exactly. Yeah. How is that working? Well, it's working fabulous. We're we're connecting with our target very very well. Uh, self purchasing women. Uh, is a market we identified. In 1999 in Vicenza, Italy, at a trade fair, I outlined our game plan uh, and we're just sticking to it. It's about creating a new category of fine jewelry, 14, 18 karat gold with moissanite. And speaking directly to the, the most exciting part of the whole population, uh, women who purchase things for themselves. It's the luxury fashion niche where moissanite resides. Now, you were named for one of Fortune's fastest 100 go growing companies this year. The stock, however, has suffered a bit. It's off about 50%, I believe, year to date. And you, you, you suffered from losing a number of stores when Federated well, yeah, bought we, May. And we really had, had planned for some additional growth through one of our key uh, customers this year. They, uh, unfortunately, had to stumble based on events they could not control. And so we had some inventory uh, dislocation and with that customer and and his customer so it did cause us a, a, a little hiccup but it's a temporary uh, so hiccup. where's the where are we making going to make up well, the sales where we are established and we have been established where the categories established we're seeing same store sales growth that's a given but more importantly we're gaining new distribution and we've made several announcements about the scope and size of those uh, new distribution uh, agreements in in our most recent filings and uh, we'll be identifying specifically who they are uh, uh, later in the, in the fourth quarter. Thanks for stopping by this Thank morning. Thank you, Stacey. Then speaking with Bob Thomas, he's CEO of Charles & Covard in San Francisco. I'm Stacey Delo.